PJ, one of the most commonly asked questions uh, from uh, RV owners is, um, I want to add solar panels to my RV. Uh, how do I determine the, the size of the solar panel system, the, the number of solar panels? The number of solar panels is going to be determined by the amount of load that you're going to want to pull out of the batteries. So um, you need to measure that um, and then we can try and accurately size the solar system. If the load that you're pulling out of the batteries is too big, uh, you might not have enough room on the roof of your RV to overcome that load yeah. with solar panels. But uh, you've, you've got to get to those numbers. Um, you've got to figure out how many amps you're going to be pulling out of the batteries in a 24-hour period. And do you, what, what, how long do you want the system to run? How long do you want the system to run if there's cloudy days? Do you want two days? Do you want three days? Four days? That determines how big the battery bank is as well. So between the two things, you should be able to size that solar system to what the customer's needs are. One of, one of the questions that I, that I see on blogs is, um, I have a class A motorhome, I have roughly 600 watts of solar panels, I have a 600 amp hour battery, and also have a 60 amp charge controller. Um, typically, how much time should it take for my batteries to be fully charged and let's assume that the batteries have been discharged to 50%. Uh, how long will it take for the solar energy to bring batteries up to 100% charge? So if you brought the batteries down 50%, you would most likely have to replenish about 300 amp hours back into the batteries. Um, if you had 600 watts of solar, you're probably going to be putting about, in peak sun, you're going to probably be putting about 50 amps mm -hmm. back into the batteries continuous. Um, Theoretically, it should take you about six hours to replenish that battery bank, but you're not going to get six hours in one day. So let's just say that you didn't use any more amp hours for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. You'd have to at least have a couple more hours the next day mm -hmm. to fully replenish that battery bank. So you've got probably usable about four hours in the first day, two hours the second day. Okay. So if you load manage, you can make that happen. Right. Um, the, the other question is, um, you know, how is uh, solar panel and charge controller connected to the existing electrical system? When I say existing electrical system, I'm referring to, let's say, a converter or an inverter or an inverter charger and the batteries. Um, what's the relationship between sort of the, the solar side and the electrical side uh, in an RV? It's just the, the common connection point is just going to be the batteries. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so um, you've, you've, you've just got the solar that's putting into the batteries and then when you're not charging, not plugged in, no generator running, you've got loads pulling out of the batteries. Mm -hmm. That's really going to be the relationship. If you start up the generator or plug the shore power in, then you're going to have the converter charging the batteries at the same time the solar does or the inverter charger charging the batteries at the same time that the solar does. Um, there's really uh, no worries about that. You can have two different charging sources on the batteries, uh, but it would be nice to use the solar first mm -hmm. to charge the batteries as to not run your generator and waste fuel and maintenance costs. Right. So really, uh, you know, if you have solar panels from a particular brand and, you know, your converter or your inverter charges are for replacement, then you can easily add, let's say, Zantrex Freedom XC or Freedom SW to an RV, which already has solar panel installed. And that solar panel with a charge controller could be from a different company, but... Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's uh, you, you don't have to worry about it. You can put anything on the load side of the batteries. The solar doesn't care. It would be nice, though, if you were adding a Freedom SW uh, to add a COM box and a MPPT charge controller because then the, everything can co communicate on the Zambus system.